get a whole Hello Kitty outfit. I didn't even realize that, Emma. Your crown is Hello Kitty. Her shirt is Hello Kitty. The table is Hello Kitty. Oh. Four days after the surgery to remove my right expander, we celebrated our great niece Emma's birthday. See the doctor after my surgery. I'm tired, very tired. I was sleeping good when that alarm went off. <laughs> and then Mark pulled out the drain sheet on my one little drain that I had, and I got to have it removed. So I am very happy today because that drain was probably one of the most irritating ones that I've ever had. And then in two weeks, I go back and have my stitches taken out. So, happy. Feeling good. <laughs> Boobless, but good. And that's fine. I, I, I feel all right with that. Now we're getting a little rain. Later that night, we got word that my Aunt Annie, my mom's sister-in-law, passed away. Aunt Annie was always so thoughtful and caring, calling me and sending cards frequently. We are all really going to miss her. Our nephew Ian is attending college out in Utah, so we went to his going away party. Ian loves to cook. He's a keyboard player, a big fan of video games, renaissance fairs, and the writings of Gustave Flaubert. We're here at the doctor's office to get my stitches out, and I just feel real tight, like it's hard for me to move my arm up. Like, you know, it, it, this hurts right here under my armpit. So I'm thinking it's scar tissue or whatever, or maybe I'm gonna have to go through physical therapy again. Um, if I lay on my side, all I can do is lay on my back when I'm sleeping and then to lay on my side. Hey. <laughs> and I thought I was going to get all my stitches out, but um, he took every other stitch out. And um, so next week I have to come back for the rest of them. Um, I did tell him that it feels like my muscles feel real tender and tight. And he said it's, you know, because of the radiation um, that your skin, my skin is contracted and it's just radiated. So it's, you know, um, being tight. And um, so now he's got me going to physical therapy. I've got to get that set up. But he did show me, he said the, the best thing is once the tissue from my stomach, that non-radiated skin, he's going to take a, a big enough piece and put that there. And he said, you'll be amazed when you're done with that. Um, your range of motion is going to be so much better. It'll feel so much better. Because right now it just feels really, really, you know, pretty crappy. So um, he showed me pictures and it's beautiful the, the work that he did on this one woman. I met up with my friend Chris. She suggested we take a walk on the beach at her father-in-law's house. He lives in Wind Point, right on Lake Michigan. We had a great time catching up on this beautiful day. A house a few doors north of her father-in-law's is home to one of the Johnson family billionaires of SC Johnson fame. I don't know that I'm real crazy about the looks of it. So I am here to get the final stitches out. I'm at the plastic surgeon's office, and um, let's hope that this is my last doctor's appointment for a while. So I, I've been through two sessions of um, physical therapy, and um, I have some exercises to do to stretch, and my range of motion has improved greatly. I'm out for a walk. I just had physical therapy. And I thought I'd stop on my way back home to go for a walk through pets. And it is absolutely gorgeous what I'm feeling and what I'm seeing. The clouds are unbelievable. And I feel like I have a lot of energy. I just feel like I want to get back into shape. I've been drinking green tea, trying to boost my metabolism, eating my apples. I did that a number of years ago. I lost quite a bit of weight by doing that. So that's something I want to do now. And I'm seeing the scale. It's moving down a little bit. Um, I just need to get more activity. I'm sitting at the desk quite a bit working on the computer. So I think getting out here at least now and then some more. I have to get out with Mark 
but it's just nice to kind of be by myself also. And uh, it's just a beautiful day, and I'm happy to be alive right now. I got dinosaur kale. I just went out and, and picked all this. Look at that. This stuff is fantastic. And I guess they call it dinosaur kale because these little, like, it looks like, what would you call that? Little ridges that the dinosaur has. So I was. <sighs> dinosaur kale. <laughs> we bought two plants, two little plants like that. Now we've got all these hummingbird moths. There's another one right behind you. And they're going nuts. These are the coolest flowers. They're uh, tobacco, the Koshiana. And um, like I said, they just, uh, they come from tiny, tiny little plants. And then all of a sudden they just get this big and they're, they smell wonderful. So it just kind of comes by and it's in the window there. You can smell it in the house. It's just beautiful. Last year at this time, I was just newly diagnosed with breast cancer. So I, I had to find a new physician, uh, Dr. Zorns, and uh, she's wonderful. Because I'm taking tamoxifen, I need to still, even though I'm not menstruating, I still need to have uh, an annual um, checkup down there. <laughs> So um, that's what I had to do today. So she um, did that and we talked and kind of went over everything that I'm going through with um, the tamoxifen and depression and all that stuff. And uh, she just really thinks that, uh, you know, being on the medication that the doctor gave me is something that I really should do. So. I guess I'm gonna, she's like, just give yourself a year. She said, you're gonna feel so much better. Everything's gonna be better. And then, you know, she really wants me to, of course, do the exercise that's big and important and um, go for the counseling. These are things that I just haven't done. And I'm back to taking care of our great nieces, Nadine and Zoe on Tuesdays. I had taken a year off since being diagnosed. They were really excited to put on a show for me after their first day back to school. It's always so cute to see them mixing gymnastics and choreography and creating their own routine. Let's do it <laughs> we went to see our brother-in-law, Kevin Grissom, perform at an art fair held at Hawthorne Hollow. Walking the grounds, we found these historic local buildings that have been moved to the property. This is the original Pike River School. It's a um, one-room schoolhouse. The former location was on County Highway A, and it was moved to Hawthorne Hollow in 1967. It smells old, because <laughs> it is. Cute. This here is the original Summers Town Hall from 1857 to 1965. It was formerly located at the corner of County E and Highway 31 in Kenosha County. It moved here to Hawthorne Hollow in 1967. And this is the second Pike River School from 1906 to 1962, formerly located on County Highway A, moved to Hawthorne Hollow in 1967. And this is a little newer. <laughs> 1906, huh? Oh, there's some butterflies and dragonflies. Cicadas, walleye, coho salmon, large uh, mouth bass, and some birds down here, a duck, a goose. Heading up to the plastic surgeon, because I, now I'm, I've had no stitches, no nothing, just going through physical therapy, so they just want to check my skin, just to make sure things are alright. Physical therapy, yep, every couple days. the 
the other day on my left, underneath my armpit, when I was uh, taking a shower, I felt like a little little bump um, under my armpit on the side of my uh, breast and I was thinking maybe it's part of the expander so I just had him feel that and, and see what I was talking about and he said you know he doesn't he doesn't know what it is he said it could be a stitch and that um, just to be on the safe side he said like 90% of the time the ultrasounds come back where it's nothing but he wants to be sure. He said, let's just uh, have an ultrasound done. So that's that. Tomorrow I have an ultrasound, a pelvic ultrasound. So it's ultrasound week. Summer came to a sudden end on September 11, when the temperature dropped 22 degrees. Even though our sunflower plants have become a little ratty, it's been very entertaining to watch the goldfinches attack them. We've also had our little hummingbird that has been hanging around for the past couple of weeks on her way back to Mexico. Headed to get an ultrasound on my, um, my left breast, underneath my armpit. I think I mentioned it the other day. Earlier, um, was it Tuesday, I had a pelvic ultrasound because when I went and had my annual physical, um, it didn't feel too comfortable when she did the exam. Not that, not that that ever feels comfortable, but uh, it was causing me quite a bit of pain. And she said that that really shouldn't be happening. So they did an ultrasound. Um, they called me less than 24 hours later and with good news that nothing showed. Um, it, it came back normal. Anything, Mark? Just driving. Okay, just watch the road. Don't look at me. That makes sense. I saw the radiologist. I guess she, well, she's a doctor. She came in to to go over everything after the technician looked at it, and she said that it. Um, she's seeing two lymph nodes that are, one of them for sure is reactive. She said something about having a core or whatever. I was overhearing her talk to the um, to the doctor because she said to me, um, I think what I want to do now is call Dr. Hijawi to see what, he, what next steps he wants us to take. Um, so she called him and asked him if he's seen this happen with people with expanders. And he said he has, but it's not real common. So it's, it's not a, a high number of, of these cases. So what their suggestion is now is to come back in a month and um, check them out to see if they're still like that. And then if they have gotten any bigger or if it's if there's a hard core or whatever, she said then what they'll do is um, do a fine needle aspiration. So that's what we're going to do. Where's that person doing this? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> On the way home, we stopped for banh mi sandwiches at a place recommended by one of Mark's Facebook friends, which turned out to be located inside an awesome supermarket of Asian food. This jackfruit. A buck sixty-nine a pound. That's got to be like fifty pounds right there. <laughs> Oyster mushrooms. Look at this whole thing for three dollars. And then look at this. Blue crabs, four ninety-nine a pound. And they're moving around. We make a a ground chicken with Thai um, chilies and then basil and it calls for this black soy sauce, never found it. And I'm sure everybody has learned that from um, Anthony Bourdain, that it's supposed to be really wonderful but stinky. Hi, this is Amy. Bits and pieces in there. It's sweet. It's interesting. Go 
We're at uh, Oktoberfest out in Paddock Lake. We're going to polka. <laughs> We're meeting up with people we haven't seen for a while. Yep. I've met a friend from maybe 15 years ago. Wow. Amy, you have I saw met my physical therapist that I'm dealing with right now, and uh, it's just a beautiful day, beautiful night. Pretty good crowd. We just had sandwiches. You can see some uh, some people in their uniforms over there, Mark. Oh, you already got that? Okay, all right. Because we were standing in line getting some food, and this guy, like the tallest guy there with that thing on his head, was behind me. And I was kind of like, I had a little crush on him because I was like, he looks cool. Can we see your house, Karen? I don't think so. Here, here. That, that, yeah. <laughs> there, right Daddy. there. Oh yeah, the blue, that blue slide across the way there. Mm -hmm. And then to the right of that. Yep, to the right. Yeah, the boathouse there. It's gorgeous. Yeah, there, there are some pretty shots. I think because the lake is the prettiest the way it's illuminated between now and maybe the second week in October. And actually more the end of September. Yes. <laughs> 